line and uh, this is actually going to be part two of a paracord steering wheel wrap. I had done a video a while back but uh, in hindsight I wasn't terribly thrilled with it so we're going to do it a sequel part two and we're going to wrap the Grand Cherokee steering wheel today. The truth is I had this wrapped once before and I uh, was using some 550 paracord and it, it was just getting kind of old so I'm uh, going to replace it today with some desert camo. Well, that's what they call it anyway, desert okay, camera everybody, paracord. What we're basically starting with here is just a loop and an overhand knot. That overhand knot, we want to make this a, a slipping knot because we're going to have to tighten this loop down onto each successive uh, braid as we go down. So, that's what we're starting with. You can see how that slides up and down. The other thing we want to decide is do we want the braid on the bottom side of the steering wheel or on the top of the steering wheel? I'm kind of one to have it on the bottom of the steering wheel like so. So. Here we go. I'm going to start down here. We'll call this the working end of our of our braid. Here's our loop. I'm going to come down around the steering wheel and through the start of the starting loop here. We're going to pull this loop tight. There we go. And then we end up with a nice tight start. You'll uh, you'll do well off if you make sure that you get these loops nice and tight so that they don't slide around the steering wheel. The other thing is as you're bringing your working end back around again as like this you'll be able to kind of uh, pile those stitches in on top of one another so that they will uh, look nicer. But as you can as you go around make sure you get these stacked in one on top of one another and get that loop nice okay so what you can see here is we've got all of our braids stacked nicely on top of one another we've got all of these uh, loops around the steering wheel they're packed in real tight on top of one another so it's tight looks good I've got my braid where I want it again you can either have it on the inside or the outside I prefer here on the inside we got our working end of the paracord and the loop I'm gonna go over one more wrap with you and then I'm gonna finish up the steering wheel of course to the other side and then I'll show you how to end it so we're taking the working end of the paracord, we're alternating from front to back of the steering wheel, each time looping it through our, our loop here, pulling it as tight as we can. So here's one more detailed wrap. Okay, working end, front of the steering wheel, like so. Through the loop, like this. We're gonna pull that loop closed using the working end of the paracord. Pull that tight. Pulling all the slack through to complete that loop and then really get that nice and tight so it wraps around the steering wheel nicely. Okay, now we're started again. Loop, working end. We're going to go around to the back side of the steering wheel here. Close this loop down. Pull it tight. Pull the slack through here. Go ahead and get it nice and snug. There we go. Now just continue on that till we get all the way around to the other side. You do have to kind of keep your cord straight though because it can be kind of confusing. You're pulling on the wrong one by accident and you undo what you just did. and So you do have to kind of pay attention to what you're doing just in case you get kind of messed up. However, since this is a slip knot, if you don't like what you just had done, or it's getting too confusing, just pull on the working end of your cord, I'll show you in a minute, and it'll come apart. And you can start that stitch over again. So, here's our loop, here's our working end. If I didn't like the way that last one worked, I just pull on this until I pull that right all the way through and it'll go all the way back down to the beginning. You just gotta pull. Okay, here we go. So about halfway around the steering wheel and the braid's looking really good. I got a little bit of a gap here, but as I go along, I'm going to keep pushing this around so I keep keep packing that in there. Braid's looking real good underneath here. I'm really liking the way that's looking. And um, 
And uh, so I'm gonna keep going here. And again, when I get to the end, I'll show you how to finish it, okay? Folks, we're coming to the end of the wrap here. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and try to squeeze one or two more wraps in here and get this as tight as I possibly can uh, to take up all the gaps here in the steering wheel between braids. And um, I'm gonna try to, like I said, I'm gonna try to wrap this in here as tightly as I can. I may even get two more good braids in here. Again, this isn't something that's going to take you five minutes, so you're going to start doing something like this. Be prepared to be out here for a little while. <clears throat> and um, you might have some sore fingers after uh, trying to pull all this tight here. So, okay, so there's that's, I'm gonna, that's going to go ahead and be my Let's last one. Let's go ahead line. and get myself the end of my line here. I'm going to cut that off right there. And I've got that pulled as tight as I can. I'm gonna loop that through here. And then I'm gonna cinch that thing down on itself. Make a nice tight knot. Get it really tight. We're gonna cut it off. And then I'm going to uh, melt that, shrink it down, make sure it doesn't come undone. Yeah, and I'm gonna go and do that to the start as well because I didn't close, I didn't stop that in here. All right, so here we are. I just finished the wrap on the steering wheel. It looks really good. Um, it's, uh, it's tight, uh, probably could have got that a little bit tighter, but I'm happy with it the way it is. I did end up with just a little bit of a gap right there, but uh, but that's okay. My braid turned out real nice here on the inside. I'm real happy with that. And the nice thing about the paracord wrap is you're out camping and you need the paracord for something. If you remember what side you started and ended on, you could cut the knot off here on the end and just pull this paracord and it'll unwrap here just with a simple pull and that way it'll come all the way off. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed part two of the steering wheel wrap. Um, please like and share and comment below if you have any questions or comments and uh, I'll be making more videos like this as I go along. So hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time.